standards with ProFoam. In this video, I'm going to go over the differences between the Fusion Air Purge gun from Graco and the Fusion ProConnect gun from Graco. Now, this gun has been around for a lot of years. It's a, it's a reliable gun as long as it's cleaned properly and shut down properly. You're really going to get good performance out of this gun. Uh, now, between the two, the coupling block that where it mounts to the hose is exactly the same. The handles are the same. Safety is the same. The air mechanism is the same. Trigger is the same. The differences come in up in the heads. So let me show you. We'll take the air cap off of this one and the retaining cap. And then we have our side seal assemblies. So here's the B side side seal assembly. We'll disassemble these. Just take that apart. Here's our actual side seal. Then we have a spring couple o-rings on the cartridge. Take the other side out. Now this is a clean gun so this is actually coming apart really really easy. If this was loaded with foam this would not be this easy. If, if you are already in foam then you know that. So there's our screen or our, our spring, other cartridge. And then we could take the head off the gun. Here's our mix chamber and the head itself. Now the check valves are the same on both guns, so I'm not going to go over that too much. But when you clean your gun out, you really need to focus on this hole that goes through. Make sure it's clean in there, there's no ISO in there, and make sure there's no scratching in there. A lot of times guys will take a screwdriver and go in and clean it, and they, they, they scratch it. If they do, then that O-ring can no longer seal in there, and it'll have small leaks inside the gun. That's going to make your gun fail much, much quicker. Okay, So let's set this aside for a second. And we'll take a look at the other gun. Again, handles the same, uh, safety, air mechanism, all that's the same. We'll take the uh, air cap off. In fact, the air cap is the same for both of them as well. So if you have spare parts, a lot of them will still work on this gun. We'll take our retaining cap off. And this is where you're going to start really seeing the difference. In here, in this blue piece, are our side seal assemblies. And this is a disposable unit. So instead of having to go into this and cleaning up that hole, cleaning up each one of these components, your side seals, all that kind of stuff, it's all built into this blue unit. Okay? A couple ways to take that out. One, you can put a screwdriver in here and twist it and kind of pry that out. You can grab hold and just try and pull it. Um, not my favorite way. I like this. They put a little jacking screw and store it in the handle. So we unthread that. Put it into this hole, thread it in, and then using the same nut driver that you use to turn on your chemicals, put it on there and turn it in and it pulls that head right out. It's a real easy way to get it out of there. Okay, So here is the assembly that holds our side seals. And if you notice, well, here's our mix chamber too, but there is no hole here that you have to clean. That's inside this. All these little components are inside here. Now what they've also done is added check valves in here for each chemical and one for the air which it didn't have before and that's to help keep crossovers and contamination from going backwards in the system and making you spend more time cleaning your gun out. So that's all contained within this disposable unit. Then we have our head comes off Clean your check valves out down here with the screens. And there's really not much left to, co to cover on this. Not much left to clean. So you spend a lot less time cleaning and maintaining this gun and more time spraying, which is when you actually make money. So this is a really uh, interesting gun so far. It's performing very, very well in the field. Um, if you're spending much time cleaning your guns out and maintaining your guns, I suggest you take a good, strong look at this gun. Um, because this is really a game changer in this industry. Now, another change is on the mix chamber. You see it's not the same mix chamber as the other gun. They are different. This one, they've added a coating to it, too. So it's a lot less likely that that's, that's going to scratch, which also cuts down on the foam that gets inside the gun and messes it up, fouls it up before it, uh, before it should. So as long as that's clean, you shouldn't have to, to, to refinish it or anything like that. Just put it back in the gun, 
Now with that slot down, because it's only one way now, it's the only way it can go in. We'll put the head on. Put our new cartridge in. Just push it in. Put your retaining cap on. Put this back on. Store our pin back in there, our jack screw back in the handle. Just snug it all up as low so we don't lose it. And you're ready to go spray again. I'm Ken Anderson, Profone. Thanks for watching.